Sarah Ferguson has vowed that she will always be there for Prince Andrew because she loves the Queen. In a candid interview with The Telegraph, the 63-year-old Duchess of York said that her support for her disgraced ex-husband, with whom she has remained close friends and still lives together, stems from her late mother-in-law's devotion. For the past three years her poor son has been going through such turbulent times, she told me, and I think it has been very gratifying to Her Majesty that I can help her with him, so we have become even closer. The Duchess vowed that Her Majesty knew that Sarah would not abandon her youngest son, who lost his nobility over his friendship with pedophile Jeffrey Epstein and paid a multi-million dollar settlement to his sexual abuse accuser, Virginia Jufrey. She was sad to see what the disgraced king had gone through, and she admitted it was hard for her to see his pain. The Duchess, who is coming out with a new Mills and Boone novel, A Most Intriguing Lady, spoke with great affection about the Queen, who entrusted Sarah with her beloved corgis after her passing. Princess Eugenie and Princess Beatrice's mother said she was more of a mother to her than her own family. Sarah admitted that now, in the wake of the monarch's passing, she feels the need to be stronger for others. When Andrew was going through hard times, I could have left him to the boss, she told the publication wistfully. The Duchess was also full of praise for her ex-husband, admiring him as a grandfather and taking a piece of his favorite cake home. In the same interview, she talked about her past body issues, being compared to Princess Diana, and feeling indebted to the royal family. The Duchess said she does not condemn Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's departure from the royal family, despite the Duke and Duchess of Sussex's scathing attacks on the firm. The royal, also known as Fergie, told People magazine, I don't believe that any individual person has the right to judge another person. I'm not in a position to make any judgments myself. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex, 38, and 41, have lashed out at the royal family in their Netflix documentary series and Harry's memoir Spare, including publicly criticizing Sarah's ex-husband Prince Andrew, calling the Jeffrey Epstein case a shameful scandal. However, Sarah said, I've been judged all my life, and I don't judge the Sussexes. She added that Princess Diana would be incredibly proud of all her grandchildren, who include three-year-old Archie and one-year-old Lilybeth, as well as Prince William and Kate's three children, Prince George, nine, Princess Charlotte, seven, and Prince Louis, four. Harry became the first monarch to publicly criticize Prince Andrew, 63, calling the Jeffrey Epstein case a disgraceful scandal. No one at the firm said anything about the fact that the Duke of York had sexually assaulted Virginia Jufrey twice, who claimed to have been a victim of human trafficking by Epstein. Andrew settled her lawsuit last year without taking any responsibility, and has always denied any wrongdoing. However, Harry mentions the affair in his book, Back Up. When his wife Meghan asks if the royal family could reduce their security after they leave for America, he replies that absolutely not given that his uncle still receives protection. Harry tells her that there is a commitment and an unspoken promise to protect them. When asked by Meghan if it would ever be lifted, he replied, never. Not in this atmosphere of hate. And not after what happened to my mother. The Duke of Sussex added, and not after the death of my uncle Andrew. Even though he was involved in an infamous scandal, accused of sexually abusing a young girl, no one even offered to remove his guards. People had many reasons to complain about us, but sex crimes was not one of them. Prince Andrew has always denied these allegations.